Welcome to another video in the Lantic Tutorials, a comprehensive series. In section 6.22, we will talk about the text mode equivalence. This table is showing some symbols and then how to write them in math mode and there is an equivalent text mode for this thing. For example, if we go to the tag document, and here we see that if I want to insert this vertical line and it can be written like this or it can be written like a text bar. So let me write it like this means dollar symbol and then I press from the keypad this and I just build this. And you can see it is here it can also be inserted by just writing like this slash text bar here and I just build this and you see that we have the same here so this one doesn't need to be enclosed in a dollar symbol because it is called the text mode equivalence that we have here. The less than with this symbol or with text less, similarly with text greater, the dash, the m dash, similarly the dagger. Now, if for example, I want to write a unit vector and let's say I write x unit vector, so it is having this command that hat slash hat. So for this, I will have to write like this means dollar and then slash hat and it is here and let's say this is x unit vector and I just build this and x unit vector comes in here similarly if I want to write it in a text mode then I will have to write like this big slash and then power and then a like this that backslash and this power and then a or let me write x and i build this and you see that it is like this x unit vector now one difference is that is this x unit vector is in equation mode so it is written italic and this one non-italic similarly we are having the dot, the double dot, and these are all those equivalents. Now the very important is the subscript and the superscript here and the subscript, how we will write these things. Let's say I want to write, like I want to write x square, then I will enclose this and then write x and power 2 and it will give me x square similarly if I do the same thing here and I just select from here the subscript the superscript here and then I write 2 here and then I select all this and just put in the dollar symbol and here I write X and I was like this similarly if I would have written X bar 2 now to convert this into the um, subscript or superscript then I will first enclose it in dollar symbol and then I will select this portion and then I will do like this. So it will be converted into power. Similarly, it is true for the subscript as well. Let's say I am writing H2O, H2O. Now the two is supposed to be written in the subscript so I will enclose first in dollar and this in this and then it shows this is h2o 
are if I want to write H2 S O 4 then I select this one in close in dollar and then this and then 4 in close in dollar in the subscript and build this and it is H2 so 4 so it's the easy way to do it like this similarly if they will increase in number like I write I write uh, for example H12 and O16 then H12 O16 then this 12 if I do like this and close in this one and then subscript and similarly and close this one and subscript and just build it so it is showing me H12 and O16 but if I just write A12 and now I do like this that I write this is underscore underscore means that it will be in the subscript and I select like this and then write the subscript and I write it like this and now we see that if I enclose this in a dollar symbol so and I then build it we see that it has written a1 and 2 not in the subscript the reason for this thing is that this is to be enclosed in curly brackets so i select this and i press curly brackets now it will be fine so in order to avoid this thing we should use this menu from here and then our job will be very easy okay in section 6.2.3 we will cover the greek letters and they are very easy to do like alpha beta gamma so just write alpha here so the first thing is to put the first thing is to put the dollar symbol and then slash alpha so as i write al then it appears there alpha and it is equal to alpha now for example i want to write alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square equals one so how i will do it quickly then you write slash and then slash alpha and part two plus slash beta and power is 2 and power is 2 plus slash gamma and power is 2 and this is equal 1 and I build this and it is showing me alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square is equal to 1 and this is comparatively more easier than MS Word to do here few things we will have to note that when I write gamma with small g then it will do like this and if I write with capital G it will give me the capital gamma and this thing is true for almost many Greek symbols like the pi with small y and the pi with capital P similarly pi where pi and pi like this these two epsilon and the where epsilon similarly different kinds of sigma theta mu nu eta and zeta and similarly all the symbols we can do like this if i want to write the degree symbol then i have already inserted the packages so i will just like 25 and slash degree and C and I build this and it is 25 degrees centigrade no need to insert any dollar symbol here if 
over here in the Langle and Ringle, I can write the angstrom with double A here and like psi and phi. So how I will do this, I will write slash this and then this vertical like this one. First I will use the dollar symbol because this requires a dollar symbol and I write slash Langle and then with Langle I write because there should be something written here and let's say that is slash psi and then I have a vertical symbol and then wrangle slash wrangle and then I write phi and I just build this document and you see that or phi should be earlier over here sorry for this so phi and it should be here and it has given us psi and phi and let's say this thing I want to write is equal to slash delta and underscore mn so it has written the delta function as well now here should be their subscript underscore m and here the underscore n and this is not the underscore this should be underscore and here we are having psi m and phi n is equal to delta m n so this way we can write the equation very very easily and quickly similarly in section 2.4 we will discuss the trigonometric functions. Now to write the trigonometric functions, the dollar symbol is required. For sine, I will write this. And then arc sine for the arc sine and sine hyperbolic for this. Similarly, rest of the things we will write like this. And let's say I am writing sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one. So slay uh, first the dollar symbol and then slash sign and now it is showing me sign here and it is hang part two and then slash theta and plus slash cause and it is hang part two and slash theta and this is equal one and we are having sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. So the equation write up is very easy with this. Let's say I'm writing as an offline equation, means writing in a separate line. And here I write that x is equal to r slash cos slash theta and then I write r cos theta and slash cos slash phi x equal r cos theta cos phi similarly I write I copy this and just paste this and here instead of this I write our cos theta and here I write sine so it is and this should be y so our so y equal to our cos theta sine phi and then I copy this again and write here that z is equal to r cos phi
so z is equal to r cos phi thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video